So, when you're doing techniques like this, uh, the sky's the limit. <laughs> Gonna start out with my number one brush, just a flat brush. And we're gonna use acrylic paint. This is actually white. I don't normally use this color, so this is a new one for me. It's called Naples Yellow, and the red is actually crimson. So, <laughs> titanium white, Naples Yellow, and crimson. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the white with my number one brush and just run it right through the middle here. Just put on a coating. And this is acrylic paint, so it's gonna dry really fast. So right through the middle, then take a little bit of the yellow and mix it in. I just want it to blend really well. That's why I put the white on underneath just go all the way across. A little more white. A little more Naples yellow. This way it adds a little color to the sky. down here on the bottom, let's go ahead and take some titanium white and mix it with a little crimson. How do we get a pink look? Go right over through here. Bring down some of the yellow. And just blend it out. I want to try to get rid of some of these brush strokes. So just lightly touch. Maybe a little bit more crimson right in this area right through here. And for this I want to try to put it in a left to right or horizontal position, not vertical. It's going to be water down here. This will help establish some of the water lines. Using my one inch brush, I took a mixture of titanium white and linseed oil and mixed it together just to make a thin consistency. And we're gonna go ahead and start from the top. And this is oil paint. Just gonna put a thin layer all the way up to the yellow. Some people call this liquid white, magic white. This is just my version. It actually makes it so it's nice and slippery for the oil paint to actually go on. So it blends really nice. So I'm just going to put a light layer in through where I made the yellow part. There we go. So 
So I originally started off with acrylic paint. So I let it dry thoroughly before I added the oil paint. This way it doesn't mix. I'm going to take my one inch brush and just go into a little bit of the thalo blue which is right here. I want a very light blue color. So I don't want to, hold, I don't want to grab a whole lot of this. So we're going to start up in this corner and just lightly go over the, the liquid white here. And go all the way across. Now I want to keep a lot of this actually white. So with a bigger brush, I'm just going to go ahead and blend this in, and I'm going to do it just by turning it. We'll start from the bottom, and then we'll blend up. Now if this was oil paint, if you take yellow and blue, you mix them together, it's going to turn it green. Because I did acrylic paint down here and it's already dry, I don't have to worry about having a green sky. clouds up here a little richer. So just tapping it in. Put some up through here. Just put a little bit on. This is going to go a long way so Back to the bigger brush, we're just going to lightly blend this in. Doing this curved upward stroke will actually look or make it look like these clouds have some air to it. Make them nice and fluffy. And lightly touch over top to help and just grab in the corner of the brush. But this way it actually helps eliminate those brush strokes. Now I'm going to take a smaller brush. We're going to go to the titanium white and a little bit of the blue. Let's put some clouds in through this yellow area. So I'm using a smaller brush so I can do finer details. And again, because this is acrylic paint down here, I don't have to worry about it mixing with blue. So we can go right over top. we can have a nice yellow background with some blue skies and blue clouds. The benefits of working with both 
oil and acrylic paint. Very difficult to achieve with just oil paint. You virtually have to let it dry first before you added these other layers. And using the acrylic, you don't have to. Now using just acrylic, a little bit more difficult to actually get the same effect. It's because, uh, at least for me, the acrylic doesn't blend as well. And it's not as rich. So oil paints can blend really nice and smooth and you get a nice rich color of it. Acrylic paint will actually dry darker typically than oil paints. So it's a little easier to judge the color of oil paints than acrylics. If you're really used to working with acrylic paints, you get used to that. But if you want the easier approach, <laughs> oil paints typically will be a little bit more accurate when you come to color control. Right through here. So just throwing in some clouds. Make some really dark ones up here. So we got a lot of shadow up here. That's why these are actually showing very blue. And this is just phthalo blue. The back and forth brush stroke actually helps blend it really well. And it helps you have control over it. So you can get them exactly the way you want. So I'm just taking the, I want more of the darker color towards the bottom right here. So I'm taking the top part and just lightly blending it in. So it makes it a little lighter here on the top and darker on the bottom. Watches through here. Then I'll go back in and blend these out. Okay. So again, just with a corner, I want to lightly blend this. Just think clouds when you're doing this. <laughs> nice and fluffy. Don't really want any hard lines up here. So this way you also have clouds over top of clouds. So it layers them, gives it a more realistic effect.
Now I'm going to take just a little bit of the red and this is CAD red so it's Windsor Newton. I enjoy working with those paints. They actually seem to work really well and are consistent. So I'm just going to take just a little bit and put underneath this cloud I don't want to use any more paint right through here, so I'm, I just have a clean brush, and this is actually looks like a number eight, <laughs> just a number eight. So I'm just blending this. You could use any brush you want. Just want to get a nice clean blend through here. And again, just remember. You're putting in clouds, so you want these to be nice and fluffy. You take a little of the cat red, a little violet, and just using a very fine brush. So <laughs> this is actually a number two. So what I want to do here is just tap in some fine detail. So these will be clouds way in the back distance. So you don't want them all to touch, you want them to be, you know, some of these you want them to be separated. That way it doesn't look like one big cloud, it looks like a whole bunch of small little clouds. So I'm mixing this right now, which is another benefit of oil paint but I'm tapping it into the blue cloud right above it. So it actually kind of blends them together, which is what it would do in real life. So you get more of a natural look. Plus it makes the palette actually blend together better too. Put some more right on through here. I'm going to take that same small number two brush, just touch a little bit of the titanium white. Don't have a whole lot on there. Now I'm just going to go ahead and add some white spaces. So just add some white spaces in with the clouds. So it pops a little better, like you're seeing some light shining through. So I'm using, it's, it's still mixing with the blue that's actually on the canvas. So I'm wiping it off. So when I actually add the white, it doesn't go with a lot of blue. Just mostly white. And again, just tapping it in here is enough to actually having it blend 
with the pain underneath. Of course, if you keep tapping it, it'll mix so much with the blue underneath it, instead of white, it's just blue. So. Definitely gives it a nice look when it comes to the white shining through, or light. Cool way to make clouds. Helps add a whole lot of detail. And you could do this for days. <laughs> And again, I'm still going between the blue and the yellow. And instead of it mixing to be green, it's actually staying yellow. So it's keeping this, it's making it very simple to actually paint this picture. But you could get a lot more detail with this technique. Now because this is dry, I'm just adding some titanium white to the bottom here. Gives it more character having a different colors. I'm just going to do some fluffy clouds down here. Put some right up through here. So, when you're doing techniques like this, uh, the sky's the limit. <laughs> I know, that was terrible. Dad joke. But yeah, it does give you endless possibilities. So now you can also do streaks through here. Just blend them out.
gradations. So if you blend it really good, it'll be a light white. If you don't blend it, it'll just be a more brilliant opaque white. So I'm making these a little bit lighter and all I'm doing is adding a little titanium white to it and because it's oil paint it's still blending just blend it right in. It pushes them off into the background. So I still want this to be a little softer. If I take a big brush, it's going to blend too much of it. So I'm taking what they refer to as a mop brush. I'm just going to lightly brush over top of this. So it blends it out, makes it a little softer look, more fluffy. And because these are further back, you're not going to see much in a line of detail. So if you blend them, it'll just make it look more realistic. So grab this. I'm pretending that the wind is actually going this way, which is blowing the clouds in the one direction. So every time I do this, I make sure that it's following those directions, either up or down. I'm going to go ahead and add some water here on the bottom. So I'm just using my one inch brush, tapping into a little bit of the white, titanium white with the linseed oil. And we'll go lightly through, very right through here. Just 
just want to get a light coating of the oil and a titanium white on here to make it slippery. Don't want to put too much of this on. So use it sparingly. And go right into the phthalo blue. Tap that. And we'll start from the sides. So we start here, it gives us an idea how dark this is going to look and brush it inwards. Same thing from the other side. We'll start right here. And then lightly go through the middle. streak in there looks nice so we'll just blend out a little bit more and yeah let's go up here a little more I'll bring this all the way across I'm just lightly going over top of the red and the yellow right through here we don't want to get rid of those colors With a bigger brush, let's go ahead and blend this really lightly. Lightly go across. Now I want to take the little blue, I'm going to mix it with a little bit of cad yellow. So we're going to make a really dark green. We'll still use a one inch brush. Just tap it in there and right across the back. Let's go right in through here. Filling us in.
I'm just going to put a little bit on the bottom here. brush just going to grab this and bring it straight down Slightly go across. So now with the palette knife, just going to go in a little bit of the uh, titanium white mixed with linseed oil. It's got a little blue on there. I'm just going to scrub in a little waterline real quick, so right through the back. So now I'm going to take the palette knife, grab a little more titanium or cadmium yellow, get a little bit of, make it a lighter green. And just tap the one inch brush into that. distance just tap in some accents so we got some trees and shrubs going up here just to add a little color Going back into the white mixture, you don't want a whole lot of this, so just tap it out, just really light. If it's a little too white, you want it a little darker, just lightly tap again, and it actually helps it fade in. Just a little right through here. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and add some more land right in through here, but I want this to be darker. So I'm going to take this mixture right here, which is a green. I'll take it and we'll mix it with a little lamp black, a little more phthalo blue. Get it nice and dark.
And again, grab the one inch brush and tap it right in there. back to the one and a half inch brush. Just gonna grab this and pull it down. And lightly go across. And again we'll go back to the palette knife and a little bit of the titanium white. Just blend this in here. Cut in a waterline. I want to lighten this up just a tad bit so it shows better between the two layers. Plus it pushes this back a little bit. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab a little titanium white, a little bit of the blue that was in the background. Let's just put some of that right in through here. Using that same fan brush, this is it's a really small fan brush. <laughs> Gonna use some of this darker color. And right up through here, just put some trees. Just some trees in the background. So just going a little bit back and forth. You want to leave some of the yellow shining through. So it helps it show more depth. Now we could take a little titanium white, little yellow, little red, back there. A little 
through here too. Clean my brushes with mineral spirits, odorless mineral spirits. Cleans them really well and fast. So I'm going to go ahead and make a little bit of a greenish color here for highlights. So cad yellow, phthalo blue, nice green. So. So we want to keep some of these trees in the background so it actually shows like a silhouette and then these in the foreground you want to kind of stagger so it goes over top of them but in between so you can actually still see them. And then you can put some highlights in there with some titanium white. I'm going to take my one inch brush, tap it into the red, cat red, a little bit of white, and just going to lightly tap in through this area right here. So we'll go in the dark, so we got the black mixed with the green, mixed with some phthalo blue, and put in some land right through here. Just tapping it in. So this is thick paint. Not mixed with any medium. So no extra oil or anything like that. Back to the one and a half inch brush. Grab a little here. Just drag it down. Let's go for titanium white, a little black. So we 
we'll get a gray, and we'll mix it with a little bit of phthalo blue. Here, we'll put a tree. Let's go. It's got a little titanium weight. It's going to tap some areas right here for contrast. And on the other side, we have the darker color, so phthalo blue mixed with the black. We'll tap some of that in here. Let's put another one right up through here. Right off the page. Back to the darker color. back to the titanium white for highlights. So I have my liner brush, I have the black mixed with a little bit of the phthalo blue and a little bit of the titanium white. Just some of the stuff that was left over on the palette. So I went ahead and grabbed some mineral spirits and I blended this nice and smooth. So that way we could do some branches. So let's start up here.
spend as little or as much time on this as you want. The more detail, the more realistic it will look. So we're going to mix more of a dark color. We want a dark green right here. One inch brush, tap it in. Let's put some branches on these little guys. So just lightly touch I don't want to put too much on there. Now I'm going to take my number two fan brush, dip it into the yellow with a little bit of the green and now we can do highlights. So I thin this down a tad bit using mineral spirits a little bit more green so this way it's thinner and now just add some highlights use a little titanium white as well Brighten it up even more. Go through here, and just with a palette knife, we're going to scrape in some sticks. Grab some green. We're going to make it a little lighter. So just tap it with a one inch brush. And just barely touch the canvas. Let the paint do the work. Now I'll also go down here a little. back to the one and a half inch brush and just lightly blend this down. Then slightly over. And again take a one inch brush, tap it in the cad red. Nothing wrong with a little color. Put 
put some of this down here too. That way we see it reflecting in the water. And back to the one and a half inch brush, and again, lily brush down. And again with the palette knife, just gonna cut in a water line right through here. So let's go right about there. With a smaller brush, just bring this up a little. So we can also go ahead and add some water ripples through here. Let's go right through, give it a reflection. ripples. 